um, banks and bags of these lithium ion cells. Right. Um, and so there's these two container units. Each one is 200 kilowatts. Um, and then they're fed into our computer system in, in the site office. Um, so the way that the, way the site functionally works is the turbine um, feeds all the power into the switch gear. So the, the, the silver box over there is our, our switch gear. The solar also comes in. It has its own um, uh, conduit that comes up to the switch gear. From the switch gear, it all gets thrown into the into the solar into the batteries and then from the batteries it goes back through the switch gear and into the grid so that's how we are tied in so not the solar not the wind are tied to it directly to the batteries it all has to go to the switch gear first okay um and so so what we sas power what we have the ability to do is turn these off and on so if we're producing at full capacity we want all that going into the grid if there's any excess we can store it here and if we're um, below our one megawatt in terms of production, then we can feed it back into the grid. So realistically, at all times, we should be feeding one megawatt in. I mean, there is some caveats in that, you know, in the next week or two, we're going to be shut down for four weeks while SAS Power does maintenance. Huh. So it's, it's a, you know, we have a contract, we have a PPA, but again, when they have maintenance going on, they have to shut us down. We have no recourse for that. And these actually need charge. So we have to have a backup source to ba feed them back because if they come down to too low of a charge, it can actually damage them. Sure. So so we we'll have our crews. So it could, somebody asked me the question about, um, do you have maintenance contracts? The answer is yes. We have a contract with the Saskatchewan Research Council who maintains the integrity of the site. So um, they help us with our billings, our consumption. If there's anything going wrong that needs to be diagnosed, they help us with that. The second maintenance agreement we have is with Entercon. You can see their vehicles here now. They're, um, they must be gone for lunch or something, but they're out to do some scheduled maintenance on the turbine. So it's actually been down um, over the weekend here. What happens is we end up with icing on the blade. So just with the right temperature between humidity in the air and the freezing point, the ice and builds up on the blades and it actually shuts down for a period of time until we can de-ice and then we can safely start it up again. Sometimes when those calls happen, I'll get a call saying, is the site clear? If the site's clear, we'll start it up and we can shed off some ice. So it could be potentially dangerous, but it hasn't ever been thus far. Coming back to Entercon though, we have, um, I guess what you would call is one of the most robust uh, maintenance agreements you can have. Um, we have a 10 year agreement with them with the option for renewal and uh, they guarantee us 95% production. So if the turbine is down for a manufacturer's air, anything like that below 95% of its expected production, they actually start compensating us. So because we can't sell, they're gonna step in and they're gonna reimburse us. And uh, it's been a great agreement. Um, their main base is out of Lethbridge, Alberta. Wow. So anytime, we were the only Entercon turbine in Saskatchewan up until this last summer. So anytime they needed to do maintenance, their crews were coming from Lethbridge all the way here to do maintenance on this single turbine. They said, you guys should install more because as soon as we get, I think they said seven turbines in Saskatchewan, we can staff an office. And so now the Red Lily project that's going up at Grenfell, Saskatchewan on yeah. the number one highway, mm -hmm. those are Entercon turbines yes. and, uh, and they're not ours, <laughs> they're not campuses, um, but uh, there is now more local staff that can help us so with that So that means project. three turbines and they need seven? Uh, no, the Red Lily, I think they do have, they'll have seven. So okay. now once that yeah. one's fully commissioned, they'll be able to staff an office on it. Yeah. So There's nine out there. Nine. nine. North yeah. 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 So they just came on stream this summer though. What does the temperature management for the batteries? What is the temperature management? How does it manage temperature? So when it's super cold, I know lithium ion do doesn't work after minus 17. So it must heat itself somehow. I was curious if you knew. I don't know the answer to that question. Oh, okay. I, they don't ever let me open those. I don't <laughs> May, is it a secret or not? Yeah. yeah that's why they told me not to open. <laughs> <laughs> don't change the temperature. You know, <laughs> really cool. you know, to, to just simplify it, because it's not always windy in Saskatchewan, because it's not always sunny, these batteries fill up and so we have a constant flow into the grid like that's yeah. that's the thing because we it's a business to us yeah. at the end of the day as much as it's a good for you know the environment it's a business so to have a constant flow into the grid is you know revenue into us and that's the importance of this yeah. in a province where it's not always windy yeah. or maybe it's not always sunny but it is always sunny in Saskatchewan <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's always been said that uh, a combination of solar and wind was what that's what you've got to do, and you've done it. That's right. So we can, if you guys want, we can walk down to the turbines. Have you, you've toured a solar cycle? Yeah, but it was fun to see another one. Yeah.